bad boy okay in this video today we're finally going to be installing the tail lights made by ntx glow now ntx glow is a company that makes tail lights for pretty much every single car they're trying to do and i myself bought it for the 2010 to 2014 mustang they basically do color shifting effects not just any ordinary euro tail lights that you could get i had to approximately wait like three months for them to come in and they finally came in and if you watched my previous video, I made a video about the unboxing and uh, a little sneak peek of how they look like onto the, like, it does color shift and all that stuff. I made a sneak peek video of that. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be finally installing them to the car. So without going any further, let's just get down to this video. Just to show you guys, these are Euro Mustang tail lights for 2010 to 2014. Now, if you own a 2011 and 2012, I believe then you need this thing right over here which is it comes with the tail lights you buy this uh i forgot the name of it it's like a little thing that it fills in the gap of the there's usually a gap if you have a 2011 2012 that the 2013 doesn't have now for me since i own a 2011 i'll need to use this it has some 3m tape on the side and you basically peel that off and just stick it on to underneath the underneath of the tail light and that will just basically give the, it fills in the gap of all that. So if you have a 2013 Mustang, you could exclude that and disregard what I just said. But yeah, for 2011, 2012, you'll need that. So make sure you apply that underneath the tail light so you fill in the gap and all that stuff. Now, this is very easy. You just basically peel this off, peel that off, and peel that off. And then you basically stick it underneath to the tail light. And that's what we're going to do. And... Uh, I have a, it came with a protection film, so I'm gonna take that off afterwards, but it comes with those plugs right there. It's really easy. And I'll show you guys when we get into the trunk on how you wire that. But anyway, for right now, we're just gonna be putting this on the underneath the tail light. Okay, so we installed the spacer now, on for both of them we installed it on. Now I stuck it on there and I waited for like five minutes and I believe it's sticked on. Now we're going to go to the garage and take off the old ones and then we'll go from there on how you install them okay so we're in the trunk and i made sure before i'm doing anything i disconnected the negative terminal so that way that there's no electric or anything gonna you know go out or off or anything like that but anyway the first thing we have to do is remove this panel thing so i, I believe i don't have any clips so basically all i have to do is just yank it you hear that sound that click and then take the other one out like that one you hear a, another noise like that like pulling it exactly like that and we pull this plastic thing off and then I'll show you guys those three bolts that are connected to the stock uh, tail lights. So what you guys want to do is get an 11 millimeter bolt and we're basically going to take this bolt out and uh, like this. You do on all three of them. And basically when all three of the bolts come out, you basically take the connector off right there. As you guys can see, there's a connector. That, it just disconnects when you just pop it like that and we should be good to go. Okay, so we took this one off, and uh, we took the connector off, as you guys can see right there. Okay, so we now took both of those tail lights off, and uh, this step is probably you guys don't have to follow, but I did. I cleaned all that stuff, and then I also cleaned that right there too. All this, you see how it's still shining and everything now? All that stuff was so dirty that I had to go clean everything off, so that's a step you could skip, but I'm just showing in the video. This whole thing was so dirty. Like it, was, it took me like at least like 30 minutes to do and you can't tell because it's on the video it took me like 30 minutes to clean that and then this one right over here it was so like it was just so much dirty so i cleaned everything now it looks shiny now i'm gonna go grab and start with the left side of the tail light and show you guys how you put it in okay so we have it installed and uh, like i said the same thing like usual you put those bolts in right there screw them in make sure they're all tight then after that, as usual, the harness for the tail lights, you plug that in. It's a simple plug and play. It's very easy to snap it on there and this clicks right there. Now we're gonna go do this side right there. Okay, so this is the other pair for the right side, I believe, yeah, for the passenger side. So we're gonna take this, feed the wire to this right over here, as you guys can see. You can see I'm putting it right there. And uh, basically right there, we're gonna have to use, this is an important step that you guys shouldn't forget. If you, you need to make sure this is sealed because if it's not sealed, then water could get inside and then it could become a huge mess and you'll probably be out of warranty and all that stuff. So you want to make sure this thing goes inside and it's locked in place. Like you see, you have to close it very tightly like like this pretty much and make sure this is closed because if, if it's like loose a little bit and you wash your car, water could get inside and it could damage up the tail lights and you don't want to do that. So 
always make sure and double check and make sure this is closed and tight and locked in because you don't want this to be like this and then water gets inside and all that stuff. You don't want to get through all that problem and situation. But anyway, put this inside there and then we're going to put the tail lights inside like that and we're going to be ready to go. You can see I locked this in. You can use your finger to make sure that it's locked in and mine's locked in. I, I made sure there's the sealant is not out and the harness is inside. Now, carefully put this tail light inside and uh, let's see. Well, it's kind of getting stuck now. Uh, so you get these three screws, as you can see a screw right over here and you just screw it in like that. You get your, what was it again, 11 millimeter bolts. The 11 millimeter bolt is uh, somewhere around here. Where the hell did it go? It's, uh, well, for now, I'm just locking and screwing these in. We'll do that afterwards. But anyway, put that one right over there. That one, you have to make sure it's locked in place and you don't want it to, your tail lights to be flying off the road. Then we're gonna have to screw this in with the socket. So like the, you could do it by hand. Always, you could do it by hand. But, you know, for me, I prefer the using a socket to make sure it's locked in place because uh, it's always safe to be sorry to do it that way. So I do it that way. So we basically screw it in like this, make sure it's tight. So just like this, we're gonna make sure it's all screwed in tight. And uh, I'm screwing it in to make sure you can tell when you don't need to screw it in. But I like to make sure it's tight. And yeah, it's good now. The next step is to make sure to use this thing and then you basically close it in like this, the harness, and you basically plug it in like that. The original one just snaps in and clicks on like this. You hear, you'll hear a click like that. And then you're good to go. And these wires is for the color shifting lights and we're gonna go do that. So we have to go feed the, put, take this off and go underneath and underneath the seats and then all the way to the battery. It, Cause it has to be installed to the battery and you don't want it, that's the only route to do it because I checked on the instructions and said that. So we're gonna have to go take all this off and go to the feed it all the way to the seats and then go from there all the way to the battery. Yeah. Okay, so the next step is to get your Blue Ghost module. As you guys can see, it's a Blue Ghost module. We get these wires and just make sure what color you're putting on. So black, green, red, blue, black, green, red, blue, and basically snap it on like that. And that feeds it to that one. Then we use this wire right over there, ladies and gentlemen, this is the, what is the, what you call this thing? Yeah, this goes to the battery because that's the only why I read the instructions say it goes to the battery. So basically just toss that thing all the way over, oh, okay, over there. And uh, we basically get this wire right over here. These two wires basically plug in with these two. And it doesn't matter which one's which, you could just go with any of them. So like this one says white, green, red, blue, red, green, this one. It matches with that one. Click on that one. This one matches with that one. White, green, red, uh, blue. Where it is? Let's make sure that they match. Red, green, white. White, green, red, blue. Like that. And then basically you f you get this whole module right over here. Open this thing up right there. Then we have to go all the way into the interior of the car. Maybe I have to pull the back seats off. And then we're going to have to go all the way to the battery. Then we'll just go from there and I'll show you guys all that stuff. Okay, so you get this Blue Ghost module. We're gonna go hide it right there and take all these wires. It's a bunch of wires. And uh, we're gonna go feed this inside to here to make sure it looks clean. We're gonna make the setup look clean. Hide it all the way there. Well, like right there. Go to there. Take it all the way there. Take that one there. Make sure that gets hidden there too. Like just like that, we feed that wire to here. And that goes right over there. You close that in there, E2. And uh, maybe it'll stick out a little bit, but we're gonna go put that little plastic thing in there. It should hide everything away, but yeah, we'll go from there. I'll show you guys in the inside now. Okay, so I'm in the interior and basically as you guys can see that wire, I feed it the wire all the way to here where I'll show you guys. Okay, so basically we got, I put that right there for protection, you know, to no don't wanna scratch up the seats or anything like that. But you feed the wire, you basically pull the seat out. As you guys can see, the seat, we pull this off and push it up. It's very easy for the 2010, 2014 Mustangs. It just goes up. And then after that, you feed the wire. As you guys can see, this is wire. Maybe it's too dark, can't see it, but this wire right over here. 
you take that wire, you feed it underneath, then you go all the way to here. As you guys can see, I pulled this thing off, this plastic thing where it sees Mustang on in that plastic black panel. You feed that wire all the way down here. It goes all the way to there. After I'm gonna have to take that plastic off right there. Then we basically go all the way to there, all the way to the battery right over there. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'll show you guys the routes of how we put it all the way to the battery. That's it for today's video. If you hope you guys like the channel, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your fantastic day. Peace out.